All right, what is up guys, Inspire here. And today I'm gonna to be going over the best settings for Apex Legends. Now the settings I'm gonna be showing you will help you improve as a player, and also increase your FPS. So first we have Interact Prompt Style. And what this basically does is, is it basically shows less text of when you look at an item, mainly so it doesn't clutter up your screen. Now, the second thing we're gonna look at is crosshair damage feedback. So me personally, I like to play with this off, mainly because it doesn't show the X with the hit marker when you're shooting somebody and it's a lot easier to track people. So next we are going to have damage numbers. And personally, I like mine on stacking so I know how much damage I did to somebody, how much total damage that is. And also it's very satisfying when you see 200 pop up and you one clip somebody. Now, this is a big one that you're gonna wanna turn off. Taking damage closes death box menu. Now, basically what this does is when you are trying to loot a death box and then you start getting shot at, it'll instantly take you out of the death box so you can engage in the fight. Now with mouse and keyboard, I do have a video on how to find your sensitivity. So I will link that in the description below. And then I also will have a video soon on ADS mouse sensitivity. So I will be sure to link that one in the description as well when I'm done with that. Now on to video settings. Now personally, I run full screen and that is just because I feel like it runs a lot smoother. Now 16, 9, 1920 by 1080 is native. But if you guys are having FPS issues, you can also turn that to 1610. So 1680 by 1050 and it will decrease your FOV, but you will be able to squeeze out more FPS in your game. Now, I also have a video on this resolution if you guys wanna check that out. Talks about the benefits of it and the FPS increase. So onto the advanced settings, I'm gonna go through this a little quicker. Uh, V-Sync, you always want to have turned off. If you have this on, you might feel some input lag. Now, you guys are gonna to wanna to turn anti-aliasing off. If you do this, it will drastically increase your FPS. Texture streaming budget, you're gonna to wanna to have it too, mainly because none looks like you're playing Minecraft and it looks like trash. So make sure you have that on two. Texture filtering, I have bilinear, mainly because of the FPS increase. And basically everything else I just have on low. By putting everything on low, it's gonna maximize the FPS that your game will reach. And overall, just make your game run smoother. Now you can accompany that by a 144 hertz monitor or a 240 hertz monitor and it'll feel even smoother. Now those are my settings for Apex Legends and the settings I feel like work the best. Now if this video helped you, please let me know down in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoy these clips. I feel like our teammate's about to get beamed in three. Yeah. Oh, Yo, what up, dude? He's 153. Get out of my face. I'm scared. Bloodhound's fried in the back. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Bloodhound's fried. Oh, it's off-resing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the Bloodhound's like a bot. He's over here. My guy. I'm already popping. What am I doing to these kids, feller? What am I doing? I need help. Another squad, another squad. Oh, there's a kid in here with me, what the fuck? No. There's a guy on me. Help me! What is happening? Another one up here. Um, Bell? He's gone. They all just disappeared. 
Are you down here? It's above. Oh my god, what am I doing to these poor kids? Calling upon nature's strength. Oh, I don't win this. Oh, there's two on me. That top one's cracked. You're so upset. Do you have ping? Ping? Oh, okay. They're no longer with us. There's another team. Okay, they're burning inside. You gonna me? He wants to fight. No, there's one, uh, there's one right here. Oh my, you just beam that dude up there? Hmm. Oh no, it's still alive. He's almost weak. Oh no, I hit him for 98. Oh, that one. Easy. Yeah.